It may not be classy, but it's still definitely good. Hey guys, I'm at work and I decided to just do a review out here on the crew park while uh, on my last day. My review here is for Road to Perdition. This is a movie that is in my bucket list, but because I'm so freaking bored and I watched it in my car, I really wanted to talk about it before, you know, while the thoughts were still fresh in my mind. Road to Perdition is probably my favorite Sam Mendes movie, as I'll put that even above Skyfall. It's based off a comic that was written in 1998 by Max Allen Collins, and it's about a mob enforcer who is forced to go on the run with his son after his younger son and his wife are killed because of implications with the mob. And in the end, he is forced to go after his mob boss, who he was incredibly loyal to, to get back at the man who killed half his family. Tom Hanks is really good in this film. He has a very rugged personality, a very strong, quiet, but threatening demeanor. It's probably one of the more threatening roles I've ever seen him in. Paul Newman, this is his last on-screen performance, and what a way to go out. He is a phenomenal as a, he's phenomenal as Jack Rooney. But as we get into the nitty gritty of the film, we start to see just who he really is and how he became who he was. Jude Law is really cool as the photographer assassin, very rat-like, very intriguing character. He's, he's persistent, malevolent, and probably one of the more interesting parts of the film. Tom Hanks' son is actually pretty commendable too. It's kind of unfortunate because he never really went on to do much else. He's been in TV shows here and there. I think he's a Teen Wolf kid now. But I really liked him in this movie. He was an exceptional performance, and I liked all the actors in this movie. Even Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig's a skeezy little dweeb in this. It's kind of cool that eight years, like, well, yeah, eight years prior to Skyfall, Sam Mendes and Daniel Craig would work together, as he is the skeeving, conniving, shitty little son of Paul Newman who causes everything to go wrong. The film is masterfully shot by Conrad L. Hall. His, this is also his last film that he worked on. The shots are phenomenal. So much so that it netted him an Oscar just before he died. And then the music. The music is something that's really good. This is done by Thomas Newman. Thomas Newman's music is absolutely beautiful in this film. He has iconic pieces of music from the theme song to the entrance into Chicago, which he actually used a bagpipe, if I'm correct, and it actually sounded really good because it was singular, it didn't have that over it. I don't know, whatever instrument he used, it was phenomenal. I like this movie incredibly so. The characters are very well done. The story is exceptional, despite its kind of rudimentary sort of circumstances. Everything about this film is about the connection between a father and his son and the reconciliation of their differences, as well as one not wanting to become like the other and sort of the aspirations of their future. As I said, I like this movie. I think it is a great time. It's it's the first time I've watched it in a long time and it was great to rewatch it again. I like this movie so much that it's in my top shelf. Aside from some small little story inconsistencies, I think this film is near on flawless. Everyone's performance is great, the shooting is great, the directing is great, and then the pacing is also very well done. So in the end, I'm going to give Road to Perdition a 7 out of 7. If you guys have never seen it, watch this movie. Also, I actually just talked about this on my radio show, so I'm going to give a link to the radio show that I did just recently in the uh, description. If you guys want to check that out, I talk about the music, I talk about a few other things. But either way, guys, that's all for me. I don't know if I'm ever going to do this out in the, in the cold out here again, but I was really bored, so I wanted to do something today. Anyways, see you guys next time.